So, this is gonna be an unboxing of the most anticipated phone of the year, the iPhone X or iPhone 10. So let's do unboxing. I already had it set up at the T-Mobile store, but that doesn't really matter. So let's see what's inside the box. You got your uh, typical earphone buds, the adapter, because it's a uh, no auxiliary life. I ain't taking part of. Got your charger and the wall port. Let's check this out. All right, so compared to my last phone, which is the OnePlus 3T, it does feel a little bit more heavier. I'm not sure if it actually is, but it feels more heavier. It feels more thick and more solid. Um, this phone is more thin. It has a, it's a taller phone, but the screen on this is actually much bigger. But I'll still take this because the screen itself is actually wider. I want a wider screen. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. But that's besides the point. People who buy this phone, they don't really care. They're living that flex life, you know what I'm saying? So, still has the USB uh, lightning port, your bottom firing speakers, the dual cameras. Now we're gonna see how good the camera is compared to the OnePlus 3T. So, let's do it now. So the front face of camera for this phone is looking pretty good. But wait a minute. Let's check out an older phone, OnePlus 3T, and see how the front face of camera is. So, on this phone right here, it's 60 megapixels. Y'all see that, right? This phone is much more clear. This is much higher resolution camera. 16 megapixels on the front, 16 on the back. And let's get it. So all in all, I actually think like the pictures between the two of the phones, so which one do I think is better? But that's just my first impressions. Like those were just like two shots I took on both of them. So we're gonna have to take a review on that. You should stay tuned to that. And between these two phones, this one being like $1,300. This one, $500. Even the newer one, the 5 Plus 3T, has more RAM than this phone here. I would still go for this phone if you're on a budget or if you want a badass phone and you really don't want to spend your whole entire wallet, get the OnePlus phones. However, the simplicity and like the smoothness on this phone, even though it still has just three gigs of RAM, get the iPhone X. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about unboxing. It's about hands-on impressions. So let's go through the phone and see how to use it. All right, we're about to check out the home screen on this phone. Wait, hold up. All right, so now we're gonna see how you can use this phone. Someone just bought this phone for Christmas. They wanna know how to use this phone. Well, let's find out. All right, I'm an Android guy, and I'm gonna find out how to get to the screen this. Making no sense to me right now. I see a line, ain't doing nothing, going to the camera. It's not doing nothing. Oh, I'm in the home screen now. All right, so it looks like the same iPhone from like past few years. They just take away the home button. They have this little panty line going on here. It's not making no sense to me right now. Um, the apps are looking pretty much darn same. Like the difference between this phone, iPhone 8, iPhone 7, if you're trying to buy a Christmas gift, trying to save some money, get the iPhone 7 or the 6 or the 8. You really don't have to get the X. X is a flex. You know what I'm saying? X flex. Camera here is looking good. This is the first phone with glass on the back. Second phone. Second phone with glass on the back other than the iPhone 4. Um, it just means more for you to break in, more insurance you have to put on the phone. This phone, eh, why buy it? $1,300? Probably not. This phone being $1,300, y'all recommend this for Christmas. When you could buy the OnePlus 5T, this is 3T, for like 500 and then buy two of them, one for you and your girlfriend, one for you and your kids or something like that. Go somewhere on a trip, not Dubai, but like somewhere else, and still have a good time, then I would still say do not get this phone. You could just get the 8. Now, there's no need to buy this phone. It's annoying. The home screen buttons, like home screen's gone. The home button's gone. How do I get to my home screen? It's not intuitive for the average person who 
just got this phone like okay you, they see this line here they know that that's their home button you're gonna go to click it long click it nothing's happening until you swipe up who wants to do a whole hand exercise with your hands when you're driving and texting um you're not supposed to drive and text but like you don't want to be doing that like it's just too much it's like it's like a work exercise for your thumbs and like your hands so we're gonna conclude this video for today. Make sure you stay tuned for our review in the upcoming video. Make sure you watch our last video right here and keep watching, stay subscribed, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.